We are going a little fast, but at this point, if I can get him stopped, he's going to try to bolt off to the right. Because it says chlorine tabs and bleach, so maybe the items haven't been mixed yet, and it, it's not a toxic solution that would create... Oh, it looks like it is. Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in, doing some law enforcement with the San Andreas Highway Patrol in the DPS division of uh, that department. Hello everyone, welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in, doing some law enforcement with the San Andreas Highway Patrol in the DPS division. We're going to be in here with the 2016 Ford Explorer today. And I got to admit, this white texture looks absolutely beautiful. If I would have seen this driving around prior... I would have probably used this a lot sooner. So you're going to catch me in this car and the dark blue one, uh, or not this car, but this texture, I guess you could say, in multiple vehicles because they got an update in vehicles. So you'll be able to see this one with the new light pattern, all that fun stuff. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can get into. All right, so I wanted to jump in here really quick and let you guys know that I had a, 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 a storage error where I ran out of storage and I stopped recording and I didn't realize it. So the scene that you guys are going to see next, it was a stolen vehicle that a officer had pulled over. Um, he had found out that the vehicle was stolen uh, by running the plate, called for additional units. That's when we roll up. We all talk for, I don't know, two minutes trying to figure out what the hell happened. Uh, upon going to walk up to the car to get them out, they take off. Um, and that's kind of where the footage picks back up because I had cleared the air and I didn't realize I had lost all that footage prior. Um, so that's a little unfortunate, but I guess it does happen sometimes. So that's I just kind of wanted to explain what you guys were going to see before you see it. So that way it's not like, well, what the fuck is happening? So that's kind of the gist on that. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into uh, the pursuit. Yeah, we need to get him out of the car. So, And I guess that's all it took. They're going to be taking off. We got a lot of rocks over here, dude. Um, so we got to be a little bit careful. How did they already get off that? Okay, motorbike's going to be primary. We're going to be secondary. Okay, we already got another unit on it as well, too. I am so not comfortable right now in my seat. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be third right this second. I'm not sure why these guys are taking off minus the stolen vehicle. They could have just got out and uh, let us know what's going on with it, but I guess that's not going to be the case. Okay, I cannot hear dispatch at all. I want a pit so bad. Copy that. Primary uh, on the motorcycle, you want me to get up there in front and we can just go for a pit on him? Copy, moving up on your right. Okay, that was a little sketchy, but we're good. Okay, so we're going to try to get up to this guy and perform a pit on him. Uh, I've been wanting to do this. I think I talked about this last episode. Speeds are at 110 miles per hour, so we're a little uh, fast right now. On an off -ramp. Disregard. Continuing southbound illusion. Fuck, I want to get a pit on him so bad, bro. Copy. He's all over the road, super reckless. Okay, we're just going to try to stick with him as best as possible. Uh, making a U-turn. Uh, Yo, back up, back up. Uh, back up, mate. Uh, back up, I gotta go, Oh my god, I don't have a fucking gun. He's continuing, he's continuing. I just don't have ramp. a fucking gun. That would help uh, very much so if I had a fucking weapon. Way, Holy shit, to draw. Back onto the freeway. Legion freeway. Legion freeway. Uh, okay, so the pit was almost successful. Uh, we had a little bit of desync there, which kind of stopped. Okay, we're going to take primary up again. I'm going to put on a seatbelt for safety in case we do collide with the vehicle during our pit here. Uh, speeds are at 100 miles per hour. We're going a little fast for any type of uh, intervention technique. What you doing, my guy? We're going to try to go for a pit on him, I think. We are going a little fast, but at this point, if I can get him stopped, he's going to try to bolt off to the right. Nope, we're looking good. I have a, He's trying to do something, dude. Continuing westbound, El Piro Freeway, 578. Oh! He just smacked that pole, bro. Oh. Just super smacked that pole. Uh, Damn, he's hurting. He's hurting. Units watch cross. He just smacked the shit out of that pole. 
and he got dead dropped. Driver and passenger, put your three. hands up. Uh, primary 301, correction. Uh, if you want to start staging medical and fire, uh, 749. You guys have a better uh, view of them over there. Do they have their hands up? I can't see their hands. I can't see their hands. Yep, they're up. Copy that. Copy All right. Stage. Passenger, with your right hand, put it out the door and open the door and step out. Driver, do not move. Okay. Oh. Oh, I know that guy. Mark control, MR Hands up and face away towards their vehicle. 1702. I respond face to towards your vehicle. Lanes, uh, stage at 578 for a police incident. Again, face towards your vehicle. 1702, copy. There you go. Now, back up to the officer's voice over there. You want to stage uh, somewhere... Uh, Someone call him back. East of... Uh, hey, stop reaching in the, pa in the driver's seat. Uh, we don't have him in custody yet. Yeah, there was, there's no one else in the car. Stop fucking moving. Keep your hands up. Now, what I want you to do is Copy shuffle over to the passenger seat of your vehicle. Now, with your right hand... Well, the door's open, so just step out and face towards your car with your hands up. You know that just pulled up. There you go. Hands up, face towards your car. I don't know Especially if he's going to... There we go. Have left two okay. Lanes locked down. Someone call him back over there. Copy, showing number one and two lanes locked down. 442. Keep it coming. Okay, we got two times out of the vehicle. I'm going to go up and clear. I think I have uh, four Mary four on my left, correct? Uh, negative. I'm on the uh, opposite lanes. Copy. Whoever just hopped out of that white Explorer, come over here to my left. I need you to stay on that side of the freeway. We'll move up. You with me? That's not far. Yeah, this is me. I'm with you. Copy. Let's move. Go up uh, directly on driver's side and clear the uh, windows. I'll hold back. We got a uh, subject in the back seat. Hey. Let's see your fucking hands. You hey, need to get put your up. hands up. How is there anyone in the back? Is he laying down? Oh, yeah, he's laying down. Okay. Let me see your hands. Uh, get the fuck out of the car, man. You Let's need go. to cooperate and put your hands up and sit up very slowly. I can't fucking move. I'm stuck down here. Okay. What, just... what the fuck? All right. We're going to... Let's... Uh, Brandon, hop over the wall. We're going to move up on passenger side since we have a little opening there. Yo, my, All right, back up. My, my Let's back move back behind my. my... Right now, okay, bro. calm down. Calm down. We're gonna help you out, okay? Is there any weapons you I'm have on you? Do you have any weapons on you? Go for three by three. Brandon, come over here and jump on the wall. Get on my car and point down through the back. We're gonna move up on passenger. Move uh, around the back of my car. There we go. And move up to the uh, back passenger door. Oh, there is no back passenger. Okay, just move up to that window. Keep your hands up. Do you not move. I, I can't face Perfect. I'm Fantastic. Stuck. That looks so uncomfortable. Are you stuck because of the accident? You don't think I know that it's uncomfortable? I'm asking you. What do it look like? I have no fucking idea why you're sitting like that. That's why I'm asking. I was like, I don't know. I was fucking hit my side of the car. Okay. Keep still, fuck. then. I'm gonna search you for weapons, and we're gonna get you clear. But we're not gonna move you due to the fact that you be uh, that you're stuck right now. Okay? Hey, someone behind me, start medical, because we got him trapped. I have his items. We have a clear vehicle. Five are we good to start hard. medical from standpoint? Yes. Yeah, we are. Um, we're code four, so someone call it code four as well. If you wanna, five minutes here. Wanna medical? If you wanna start arriving, we're gonna be code. Okay, I got the stuff he had on him. He had a stick and uh, his phone. No, I don't think I'm going. Fucking shoot you in my face! This large machine, my fucking balls in my asshole right now. I've seen, I've seen more crazy. Believe me. Okay, um, let's go ahead. Someone grab a med bag. Start preliminary uh, medical aid on him. I'm gonna move my car back so we have a little bit of work room. Right now, I have no idea why you're inside this vehicle and what part you had to whatever just happened. So as of this point, you are being detained due to the fact that you were inside the vehicle that was fleeing from us, okay? But that's the least of my worries right now. My worries are getting you out safely. Okay, I don't need your gang 
Anti uh, antidotes like right now, okay? Here. Let's focus on what's patching, really important. I got turn. one in here You're that's extremely control. stuck. Head is between his knees, uh, medical. He was laying down, no seatbelt. He has multiple limbs stuck. He says he does have feeling, he is conscious, uh, alert, and breathing. It's getting hard to breathe down here. Arr. Okay, well hang in there because he's on scene, he's gonna be able to help you out. I'll be right here in case he needs my help. You like ass and bars, bro. What the fuck? Then possibly shower. I don't know what to tell you on that, man. Can I get uh, someone to uh, sit by in case this uh, that, that medical needs any assistance with this uh, guy? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, stand by. Appreciate it. What's going yeah, on with these two? Uh, so the driver. Gray because it had the dirt all over right it. Had still had the individual's name. Uh, he's going to be the one that's most likely going to have all the charges. Um, okay. What's your opinion for the passenger, sir? Uh, well, with the passenger's, um, I mean, I guess, technically they cooperated when the vehicle came to a stop, so I don't know if they were held against their will, so if we want to ask them and see what their story was, we can kind of go from there. Um, if that's the case, then I guess we can kick them loose, because what was the, it was just the stolen vehicle portion, right? Yes, sir. It was a stolen vehicle for the initial okay. stop. Uh, well, what you could do is talk to the driver since he's the one that was in possession, and we can see what he says if he uh, if these guys had knowledge. If they did, then uh, I can look and see if that'll constitute fall into them. But chances are we might have to kick him loose. So. Okay, Roger, sir. I'll okay. Talk to, uh, to the driver real quick. All right, sounds good. All right, so right. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna read you your rights right. after I jump on my roof. You gotta make sure it's sturdy, right? It is goddamn sturdy. Yeah. All right, you have the right to remain yeah. silent. Anything you say, Cantor, will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights? Yeah, man. Okay, are you willing to speak with me and tell me the truth? Yeah, man. Okay, what's going on today? All right, so look, I don't know the gist of thing, man. So my homie, he hit me up. I was in the area of my man. He was like, meet me at the clothing store. I met him at the clothing store. He was like, walk down the street with me, we're gonna get picked up by my homie. I was like, alright, bet, we're gonna get picked up. Cause, like, you know, we was walking shit, I'm not about to be on foot. Homie picked us up in the Jeep, we got, I got in, got in the back seat. He told me to lay down, we got pulled over, he said, cause... He said, hey, I want the cops to see us in the car. So I was like, alright, man, hey, look, you do you, I'm just a... Hey, so you don't think know? it was a little suspicious that he said that? I mean, they, they gang members, bro. When they, they I, I, I get know it. If gonna, do you I mean, roll with any colors? Gonna, Control yeah, I, uh, baller gang, man. Okay. Are they with and, uh, the ballers know, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, they was gonna pop shots at y'all, but like I guess they they changed their mind, man. So I was laying down. So when they shot at y'all, I was gonna get shot. So at. when you say they, you mean the the driver and the pastor, correct? Yeah, yeah. They, I was, I had no partake in that. I told them that was a bad idea, and I talked them out of shooting at y'all. Okay. So who I, I, in the vehicle knew that the vehicle was stolen? I, I don't know nothing about the car being stolen. Now, okay, so you're they, not. Nobody, they you didn't weren't say aware of that about, at all. And they didn't say nothing about them, them being stolen. They said when y'all put us over, they said they could be on some BS. We're gonna shoot them, and I talked them out of it. Okay. Because that's what uh, they lay down the seat. They told me to lay down because when they start shooting, they want me to get hit in the crossfire. Okay. So when you were picked up today, what exactly happened? How did this all start? I saw my homie. He hit me up. He was like, "Hey, um, five o looking for me." And he like, "Be back close though. I'm gonna check my clothes real quick, you know. And we can, you know, we're gonna link up with my homie. We're gonna, we're gonna go right out the trap. You know, I was like, all right, bet. So we, that's like, so we hop in the car. Now we get pulled over. And he, and he picked you up in this car, right? Yeah, he picked me up in the green car. That does the Jeep right there. Yeah, the green Jeep. Okay. And then somebody was following us. So then we like. We hopped on the freeway real quick, and then we got put over by by that that, uh, that car back there. And that's where we all met up, and it all kicked yeah, off. Yeah, and that's okay. when I was about to try to shoot y'all and shit like that. Okay. So how and many we weapons are inside the, the vehicle? Right, can you give me a hand? I don't know. I, I only got no gun, man. Where did they throw something out? It was on the freeway. How far from uh, this location? We, we, like we as soon as we put off from y'all, we went around like off that on our ramp. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to get an officer over there. Hey, I need someone over here that's not doing anything, please. 
Oh, oh uh, you might hurry up because they might have cost somebody to pick it up. Hey, it's impossible because yeah. we've been chasing you the whole time. So, uh, real quick, are you willing to give me a uh, witness statement on paper? Got to write it? I, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to hold up in court. Uh, I, I got a real bad head right, man. Okay, well, like I said, anything is better than nothing, right? My S look like A's. That's I fine. I can tell the court that. That's not an issue. Right. Okay. Okay, so uh, real quick, I wanted to get away from the vehicle so that way he doesn't have any jeopardy of being killed after. So he's willing to talk. He actually already talked um, and named both of these guys. Uh, they were going to shoot us at the original traffic stop that we had with them. And then he talked him out of it, and they all took off. He said he wasn't sure about the vehicle, or he did not have any knowledge of the vehicle being stolen prior. He was picked on, uh, picked it up, or picked up in that vehicle at his house, and then they were driving around, got pulled over on the freeway, and uh, that's when they took off from us. So he's saying that um, he doesn't know if they had knowledge, both of them had knowledge of the stolen vehicle, uh, but he has said that they were going to kill us, so... I would say at this point we have enough to uh, take that secondary guy in because he also walked over right there just uh, like two minutes ago and he was like remember what I said and I asked him what he meant by that and he said well basically he meant no snitching about the uh, uh, going to kill us stuff so hey you in your car I just got back in yes sir okay I got the uh, witness uh, that was in the vehicle who's willing to point it out really quick he's going to be released so I could just release him here Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull you out. I'm going to take these handcuffs off. Since there's a possible gun in play right now somewhere, I need you to just be really chill with your movement and stuff like that. Just kind of show us where it is, and then me and you will walk off, and you can walk away, okay? All right. All right. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm uh, releasing you, and go ahead and show us where that gun would be. All right. So, when we were over here... He threw it. Monkey, okay, 24 dispatch. Name Utah, he threw it out. Oh, it, hey, is like, it self dispatch? It will be like over it. Uh, I'm not sure. It was, it was dispatch earlier. Right there, I don't know if it, it changed. Right okay, so sh the weapon should be somewhere over here in the grass? Yeah. Okay. Have you looked around yet? Yes, sir. I found a bag of weed. Uh and some footprints, but other than that, I hadn't found a weapon yet. Okay, are you sure that they threw us some type of weapon, or was it just the drugs that he found? I see he threw, he, I saw he, he was throwing stuff out the window. That's, that's, I didn't see exactly what he saw. Okay, like I so said, you weren't I, sure I was, if it was a gun, drug, yeah, I was could have been down like a piece seat. of paper. I was laying in the back seat. He grabbed something from the to see, he threw it out the car. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll walk up to this street uh, where the wall separates and you can go ahead and walk out from here, okay? Okay, so subject has been released. I have nothing to hold him on. He was in the back seat, had no prior knowledge of anything uh, that went down. Okay, so maybe they just threw a bag of weed, um, you know, because okay. might as well get rung up for a stolen vehicle, but not the bag of weed. That makes no sense at all. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Less charges, I guess, huh? I, I, we, we, he wouldn't even have been charged for the weed. It's legal to have out here. That's why I don't understand. Yeah, it's, that, it's like, I feel like there's out. more out here than what we're seeing. But if there's no weapon, then there's no weapon, so. Yes, sir, absolutely. Um, apparently, the subject at Pillbox is conscious now. Do you want me to go over there? And yeah, you're, you're, you go down there and you can handle the rest of the investigation. Good to go, sir. Okay, right, I appreciate it. You as well. No problem at all. Okay, so Spoonbill has a uh, traffic stop at 837. We're going to go ahead and head over there and see if he needs any... Well, even if he doesn't need assistance, we can at least sit there and uh, assist if he needs it. 837. Uh, I think he said McDonald's, so it's possibly going to be through this alleyway on the other side. Uh, yeah, it's going to be right here on the corner. I'm going to go out the alleyway, and we're going to turn right. Uh, looks like it's actually going to be that motorcycle. We'll go ahead and pull behind him here. Lincoln 46, I'm going to be back to 10-8, as well as the bike unit at 769. Oh, he was going uh, 60 and, I guess, 45. Okie dokie, I'll sit with you. Or 40, all right. I got to get my uh, weapon as well, too. We're going to be in a bad sir? situation. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, I do like the 14 uh, slick top, though. Definitely looks really fucking aggressive. A, uh, 40 license registration uh, for insurance, please. 
60 yeah, and a 40. Bad, That's a definitely bucket. not a bueno situation okay, right there. I like how he forgot the slash too. What an idiot. So, uh, speeding, eh? Well, if he's going to do wait, I'm going to do cross arms then. That way we're not doing the same shit. All right, here's my ID and my registration as well as my insurance card. Alrighty, thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, speeding, I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just having a good time. Yeah, what if you die? Hopefully not. Yeah, well then don't go so fast. I mean, you could die too, getting hit by somebody else. You could else, die so. eating a piece of rice. You could die, you could have an aneurysm on the toilet. Yeah, you could sit there and you stub your know. toe and then you have a blood clot and then bam, you're done. So is it worth it to, to, to die by speeding though? No, I would much I rather die by a fucking time. stroke. Yeah, same. No, actually, that would probably hurt. <laughs> yeah, no. I'd rather die in my that sleep. That sounds horrible. I don't know, that, that's too nice though, dying in your sleep, that's... Oh, well, exactly. That's that's too, uh, too respectful. Too peaceful. I want to be assassinated, that means I was important. There you go, that's exactly, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. So, uh, in the history book. what else are we doing today? Just driving around or going to meet friends? Uh, I was, I was gonna head down to the LTD and grab a bite. They got some bacon, egg, and cheese, but... Interesting. I've Sounds never heard like of a man that goes down to a gas station to get food, but okay. Me too, honestly. Yeah. It sounds like. But I stopped here to get gas because I don't. I'm scared of going to the LTD and getting gas. So you're you're not gonna go get gas, and you're not scared. You're so you're scared of getting gas there, but you're not scared of eating the food there. That's you're, a statement and a half right there. I gotta admit. Whiskey Thank 31. You. I tried my hardest. All right, you're doing fantastic. Thank you. Well, sir, how's it going? How you doing? Whiskey 31. Um, I'm doing a fabulous. In possession of chemicals to make um, it's mustard gonna gas. be a citation. Mustard today gas? For, what? Uh, One to fifteen over five hundred. You gotta give me a ticket. Uh, five hundred dollars. I mean, you yeah. were speeding at about twenty miles yeah. per hour over and from what he said. And it's legit this time. It's not. I'm just making a bullshit. You were actually. Well, you better this not be time. making a bullshit. I never do. Like oh, people yes. claim I do, but I'm actually not. You know. Gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Copy. I All would right. I would hate to receive a ticket from him. Uh, I think that guy <laughs> needs additionals and he's Copy. getting a little aggravated. Is he? Where the hell do you get the tie? Hold on to the ticket for me. What? Where do you get the tie at? I tried to find it. I got I I, I have multiple shirts with me. I like to Oh I'm sorry. Oh yeah. is it like glow in the dark? Be worried about oh, me hurt. when he just kicked you, that's it. Yep. Is that glow in the Yeah, I'll show you glow in the dark. Okay. Alright, yeah, show me the right. uh, Have a good day at the twenty four seven. Yep. You're gonna Not enjoy it down okay. there. 24 LTD. Yeah, yeah, it's the same have thing. Great... Keep your helmet have on. An LTD day. Yep. I like what I like to hear. Alright. Let's hope I can right. find a traffic stop. What? I said, let's hope I can oh. find a traffic stop. Yeah. What was the puzzle? How about we not hit my car, you I fucking hit you. trash ass internet motherfucker? 542, right off the highway by that makeshift way station. Okay. Got it. 382, be advised. It's a possible uh, mushroom gas bomb. Copy that. I'm in route. Okay, so we've got a uh, possible mustard gas bomb. I'm not sure what the fuck this person is doing, but uh, to have mustard gas is probably. Not a good situation. Uh, I just say we run code three. It's going to be at the way station, just at the uh, freeway over here, which is going to be the 13 that heads into the one. I'm sorry, the one that heads into the 13. Yeah, we're going to shut it all down. That way we don't have anyone that passes by if the bomb were to go off and breathe it in or anything like that. Possibly go 1144. There's no other traffic you can route. Alright, Mary 313, I'm ready on scene of traffic. Alright, let me know if you need another traffic, I can stop and head down there if you need me to. Oh my god, what a moron. <laughs> 
<laughs> Holy shit. It's like the pit we had earlier on that uh, suspect vehicle. Like, holy shit. That was actually fucking hilarious. Okay, so it's going to be just located over here somewhere. Uh, at least that's what they said. I might have to look at my uh, map here. Okay, it's going to be down here. Just past the way station. We're going to kill some lights right now. And we'll be pulling up on scene. We'll kind of be able to see what's going on. We might have to shut down some traffic here if they don't have it blocked off. Is it going to be on the uh, lanes it's over the there? Side. Okay, yeah. southbound lanes. All right. They're um, blocked off, though. You should be doing yeah, the opposite. Yeah, I'm going to just back up here. I appreciate it. All righty. How's it going? Oh, it's going. Um, when we approached the vehicle... Um, there was chlorine and bleach in the, I believe, I don't know where it was located, but I seen the chlorine bleach. They were mixed in together in a container. Um, subject was that, or struck me and my partner in the face. Medical will we'll check both of us out. Uh, he's going to the he hospital. Strike them? Holy he's shit. in and out of consciousness. Um, also going for, I believe, a broken nose. Uh, when we approached the vehicle, it smelled horrific. Um... And gas was coming from the vehicle. Okay, gasoline as in, or gas as mm. in gasoline, or gas as in uh, some fumes. other unknown foreign yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And he struck you as in hit you across the face, or? Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we both had our Glocks out and hit him with it. <laughs> Did he say what was in the vehicle at all? Um, no, but there's items of chlorine and bleach. Okay, and did anyone mixed. ask him? Uh, no, he was out. Is he awake now? Unknown. Is Where he is at the he? hospital? Yeah. Okay. Um. Is anyone down there with them or no? Um. We can get a unit on route. We had county uh, security hold him. Okay. Yeah. Let's get a unit down there and see if he's awake. If he is, let's start questioning him. See if he knows what this is. Unit we need to question this guy and see if he's fucking awake this, yet, because uh, that's how we're gonna know. If we don't have any bomb squad, then I could say we could just hypothetically do it. Uh. Like getting stuff out of the guys, truck here. Sorry, I said that again. I was contacting you. If Bomb Squad way. isn't on, we could just suit up and do it ourselves. Okay. Um, just so we at least have something going on. Okay, so I think we're going to try to suit up as Bomb Squad here. Um, I'm not sure if we have one of the presets outfits for this, so I'm going to go ahead and check really quick. Anyone uh, have an idea if we have any Bomb Squad suits in the UP or no? Uh, yes. I pulled up. We should. Oh, okay. It's under Port Authority, I believe. Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, let me look. Uh, SRU also has it under EOD. That as well. Ah, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, if I could just get... There we go. Alright, let's go. And, uh, someone secured the... The guy going down to the station, correct? Uh, uh or the we hospital? Had a unit go. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and see what we got really quick. Yeah. I don't know what this guy would need to do with this I mean, shit. But this is interesting. Up. I know. Monsters no, Inc. You know those yellow. Here's a little bit of a uh, prior to it. His wife stole all his money. Okay, but what is he gonna do? Go kill random people? Like that doesn't uh, gonna help I mean, him get his money it back. Made no sense to me. He trying to hail the fumes. Yeah, be advised. The man here is Where was the uh, items eating. placed in the, the trunk or uh, cab. cabin of the uh, car? We're in the cabin. Cabin, okay. You uh, ten nine nine. Yeah, the man here was claiming that he was eating uh, the chlorine tab. The hell is the point of a bomb suit if everybody's just gonna walk up here? Like, what the fuck? Takes a look at the materials inside the Challenger that are believed to be toxic. Yes. We just got to make sure we see what's going on here. We obviously don't want this guy to go and uh, harm hey, anyone else to, or uh, do anything there? of that nature. We're obviously it could get bad. So we want to see what we're working what with. You, want, you got anything uh, in the trunk there, Mr. The Mechanic? The I'm uh, starting to look right now. Okay. Chlorine tabs and bleach. Let's see. Let's see. Are the items mixed? If you want to also because uh, it says chlorine tabs uh, and bleach so maybe the items haven't been mixed yet and it, it's not a toxic solution that would create 
Um, oh, it looks like it is. All right, so now I'm seeing is the substance in a capped container right, or inside a bowl or bucket when they're lit. Okay, I do have a confirm of chlorine tabs and bleach, and it looks like the substance is mixed. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not that is a capped solution or just inside of like a bucket or something. All right, I'm gonna try to secure this bucket here. It does have a lid, but it's not fully secure. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, close the lid and then at least we could stop the toxins from releasing. Okay, so we do have secured. Uh, I'm gonna need someone, Monkey24, I need uh, someone with a mask on to go in the back of my truck and grab a trash bag for me. Copy. And uh, 1King24 update, we do have the container secure of the substance. It is fully secure and not leaking anymore. And you said uh, there was nothing in the trunk, right? Correct. All right, we do have two buckets, one of what looks to be water and the other one of the mixture. The mixture is secure, so uh, to open that trash bag. I'll place this in there. It won't be a full seal, but the bucket's sealed just in case it reopens and leaks at least we won't have it everywhere yeah. all right good stuff i mean we're making progress here all right um mr mechanic everything good on your side oh yeah okay i think we're code four on this vehicle then uh start right. county medical i'm sorry county uh hazmat to have them pick up that bucket and then as soon as they pick that up you guys are clear to uh re-engage with this vehicle since the doors have been open and stuff gotta admit that was my first time using the bomb squad thing <laughs> Not bad. All right, so so that's uh, that's clear over there. We were able to secure the bucket. Let me take this ridiculous thing off. Hold on. All right, I'm going to take this off. I'll give him an update here. I even have your suit back. Yeah, thanks. I carry two of those. I'd have no room in my trunk. Okay, so um, we secured the bucket. It did look like it was a mixture of uh, chlorine and bleach. Uh, he also had a, uh, assuming it was a he, they also had a uh, a mixture of water. I'm not sure what that would have correlated with or anything like that. Bucket secure. Hazmat's going to pick it up. Once it's cleared, you guys are able to re-engage with the vehicle. All right, we're going to take off from this. We did a... Uh, it was pretty cool using the bomb squad thing. It wasn't really a bomb. Well, I guess it's a bomb. It's just not something that explodes. You know what I mean? So... Definitely cool that we got to use that. We're going to hit the streets again and see what else we can pick up. Okay, so they got a uh, vehicle that was going at a high rate of speed from him. I'm going to just head over that way in case he decides to actually flee. We'll at least have another vehicle over there as well. Um, they had said that they had saw him coming down the two Both westbound. Okay, 10-0. So they lost eyes on him, which means that he possibly could be actively evading right now. Um, and if that's the case, we're going to need to provide assistance here to try to catch this guy. He is going to be on a motorcycle, black chopper, uh, chopper style vehicle. But we'll just head down that way. I guarantee he's going to be up this way. If he was last seen at the 602, then chances are he went up to uh, Vinewood Boulevard area. So it's going to be a black chopper style bike. That's what we're going to be looking for. This area is notorious for having a ton of bikes just kind of floating around. So we're going to need to really open our eyes up and make sure that we realize it's him. I haven't got a really good description but chance are it's going to be the person that's fleeing at a high rate of speed uh you can see a lot of units down in this area i think that's spoonbill in the 14 charger right there we had a taurus that just passed by that was a dps and then we're going to be in the uh supervisor dps texture here honestly the white is just so fucking clean dude so fucking clean oh so they just found the bike at 602 i believe that's going to be at the uh, mechanic shop right here we're just going to go ahead and turn around and provide some assistance. Maybe he's in the area and walking. 602 is going to be right here, so it would be... <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Uh, 1K24, was that transmission from the uh, HP bike unit in front of the European car place? Affirmative. It's going to be in the uh, far corner of the building. It's going to be north, um, closer to the 602 postal code on the map. Copy that. We're going to attempt to locate. There is a uh, enter enterable uh, interior here as well, too, if we search through this. Negative. This is uh, the highway patrol. If anyone's in here, make yourself known. I'm in 353 Victor to the unit with the bike. Have you messed with it at all? Negative. 10-4, 5 Lincoln 353 Victor to any PD investigation. Hey, we got doors that we can open in here, so I would, let's search this. Because if the bike's around here, then he might have ran in here.
So we found a building uh, next to where the uh, vehicle was dropped. We have like uh, two more doors over here. I didn't even know this thing existed. What the fuck? <clears throat> it's pretty cool to see this. I might actually, I might have to come here and make a scene. Player in the bathroom. All right, we're clear in the office too. Okay, so we said that the vehicle was gonna be, uh, or the motorcycle was gonna be in the back here. Chances are it could be at the uh, business the right next door. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. He might have ran. Oh, look, it was right here, left running. Monkey 24, the building uh, next to where the bike was ditched is clear. Copy. All right, so at least we were able to stop. Uh, or we, uh, so at least we were able to clear that uh, area there, get all that checked out, and make sure everything's good. Sorry. Hope you're good. You're the one that found it. Yeah. Okay. So I was just looking on the exterior of the property, didn't go in, and I just, you know, walked literally right around this corner. I just saw it, so. How long ago? Was it when you called it out? Yeah, like, as I okay. called it out, I saw it. So that was a pretty decent amount of time from when we lost eyes on him. Yeah. Yeah. So he's probably long gone by now. I mean, we clocked him doing 92 miles per hour. All he was going to get is a citation. Now he's evading police. I mean, that's... So usually how it goes is an infraction to a felony in five seconds but you know <laughs> yeah okay um all right well we'll go search around i'm gonna go hit the highway maybe see if he went down there Spoonbill, if you want to check uh find what area see if he might have walked across the street nonchalantly okay we'll kind of go from there sounds like a plan all right let's make it happen Damn. can you guys possibly look back there in 602 the grassy knoll area by chance i'll let you know when i swing uh through on the freeway how it's looking okay. yeah if someone wants to walk over there be my guest but i can let you know from the car okay all right we're gonna check the freeway we're gonna just double check make sure he's not walking on the highway or anything like that or maybe near it uh but he has to be somewhere and i'm thinking he nonchalantly walked away and uh has has just not been seen by anyone so this is a good spot for us to check here too we could just kind of pull up here i mean there is some decent foliage over here uh but if he was walking on the highway it would he'd stand out he would definitely stand out walking 24 to the hp unit that i just spoke with i'm over here on the bridge on bridge street and i can see that grassy area and it looks to be completely empty all right, everyone, that's going to be where we wrap this one up. It is now almost midnight, and I've been in game for what has felt like six or seven hours. Probably hasn't felt like it. It probably has been. And I'm exhausted at this point. So I'm going to see if I can put something together with the DPS uh, stuff. But now that I've done it once, I honestly am going to see myself hopping in a lot more. Still love the CHP uh, look and all that stuff. But nonetheless, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video. Mm -hmm.